Hello everybody, it's Aaron here, and today I want to show you a game that I've been working on for the past few months, and really the past few years, uh, just experimenting and learning and working up to this point. This is a 3D platformer, much in the style of the Super Mario games, which had a big impact on my childhood and the childhood of many others. And it's just sort of a callback to that era of GameCube and Wii games, and just that bright, colorful, fun platforming world of... Nintendo. And what I'm going to be showing you today is a playable demo which is actually available for download right now. I have a link for it in the description and it takes you to an itch.io page where you can download the game for free. Now of course donations are always appreciated because they help me to put more focus into the game. Uh, but right now you can get the game for free and try it for yourself. So let's show you what uh, we got here today. First of all, I'm going to use the up arrow to just zoom out uh, with the camera to get a better view. So we can run around just using the WASD control, sort of that standard control style. And you can move the camera here with the mouse. I think it's the best way to control a game that's made in the Blender game engine. Now, um, I'm not the best programmer, and I'm sure there's other ways you could do it. But for me, the simplest and most comfortable way uh, that I've been able to make games is using this sort of steering left and right and moving forward and moving the mouse uh, to move the camera. And if you press the space bar, you can jump. If you hold down the left shift button, you can do a long jump, which goes pretty far, which will take a look at exactly how far he can jump in just a bit. And I have some, some land here for you to just kind of run around in and test uh, how Keith moves and get used to the controls. And it's a good way to see um, just how he runs up slopes and flat surfaces and different things like that. Just got some placeholder texture here. And of course we've got a, a very beautiful ocean around us and some nice clouds in the sky. And let's take a look over here at what we've got. So first of all, um, there is a uh, death system, so for example if I uh, jump off of the level you will get a sort of like a game over screen and the level will just restart. And this also happens, if I go over here to my testing area, if you run into an enemy. Now we have some enemies over here. Uh, the little guy running around over there and this guy standing here uh, they're called Little Rogers, and they've appeared in some of the previous Keith games. Um, and they have the little hitbox, which is also represented by this red cube. So if you run into them, you will die. So, uh, And then you'll just restart the level. So that's what they do. And let's go back over to this testing area. Now... Um, these are some NPCs. We got this little chicken guy. We got Wyatt, Keith's brother, uh, and we got Lord Boomstripe here, and we have um, Nigel, who doesn't have any animation right now. If we go over to Wyatt and we hit E, we can actually talk to Wyatt, and you can uh, check out the text box system here. You can just press S to continue through. So that's pretty cool. We can have characters talk to you. And uh, this guy here, I am going to have some boss battle mechanics with him, but um, I still need to get some other things settled first before I experiment with that. Uh, now, the actual world here, you notice that there's a grid. There's a grid on the floor, and there's a grid here. And this is for me to measure the horizontal and vertical um, movement of Keith and how far he can jump and how far or how high he can jump and how far he can long jump. It's just so that I can figure that out so that when I make levels I won't have to figure it out again. So these three blocks are just examples of how high you can jump and this block way over here that gap between the two that's how far he can long jump which is actually I was really surprised by just how far he can go. So I'll demonstrate here, we'll zoom back out, we'll just run over to this, do a little jump, jump, long jump, perfect. I'll zoom in again because I do want to take a look again at his animations that I did spend quite a while uh, just fine tuning them and it's the most 
expression I've ever gotten out of Keith, and I really like how he just leans into his turns as he runs, and obviously just the little details with his eyes and his hat. Um, it's I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially compared to the previous games. Um, he didn't have very much animation before, but he's never looked better um, now that we've got all of his upgrades. And just some specs about the game. It should run at 60 frames per second for you. Now it's not running that at the, in this video because some of the frame rate's getting cut down because I had to record it. So, but it should run at, at 60 frames per second. And it has a resolution right now of 720p. Um, and I did that because I want to make sure that it'll run okay on this laptop and on most laptops in general. Um, but I might add some options so that you could maybe up the resolution. I'm not sure. It depends on um, if that will really be necessary because I am just designing it based upon this resolution. And even if it's a little bit uh, pixelated and maybe not at the highest resolution it could be, um, that's okay because I am going for more of a, of a retro feel for this. So I think that's about everything. Uh, that I wanted to show today and again this is available for download there's a link in the description for it you'll just download a .zip file and all you gotta do is extract it and run the .exe application file to boot up the game and so feel free to leave any feedback you have if the game's working for you I certainly want to know if it's even working for other users and just any feedback you may have because I am really curious about what you guys think about the game and if it's if it's working well for you. And I am really curious to see uh, the progress of this game and how it'll continue to grow. I do know that I, I do often start a lot of projects at once so I don't always get to them, but I do really want to try to focus on this game because I see a lot of potential in it. I'm really seeing a lot of improvement since the last entries and um, I'm really familiar with the character and sort of the world and the vision that I have for the game and it's definitely doable for me. So. Um, I'm eager to see what would happen and if it'd be a game that you would be interested in playing and, and supporting the development of. I think it would be really awesome to be able to do that and uh, just provide a new fresh indie game to the scene. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the demo. Thank you guys for all of your support and I'll see you in the next video.